What's up guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can kind of create this professional stroke effect in Photoshop as you may well be able to see here. The one, the uh, box on the left is basically just like the default stroke, um, kind of what you traditionally use. And the one on the right, just by using a few basic blending options, you can kind of create this stroke. It, it looks more professional and it's kind of using the box to YouTube template and it just kind of looks a bit better uh, my personal point of view and I know it, a couple of people have been wondering I have been wondering quite a while how to do this um, I was, someone told me this, I think it was Chronic something, link will be in the description, he told me how to do it, go check him out but enough from that I'm just going to go to file new and it's going to be 12 a by 720 and white and it's going to draw out our boxes with a foreground colour, a dark greyish, not quite black, dark grey. Now I'm going to drag out, hold in shift, so it's a square. We have it there. Then we're going to hit control J on the keyboard just to duplicate the square for this example. In fact, I don't know why I need to do that because surely I've already shown you. Yeah, I'm just going to have the one, my bad, still in my old frame of mind. So I'm just going to make it bigger, edit free transform. And so we've got our basic square. But one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, on the back one, I double click to unlock it, right click, go to blending options, and I'm just going to add a gradient overlay. Just tick a gradient overlay. Now this will just be, I'll show you, I'll show you the purpose of this later on. And I'll change it to minus 45, so it's gone on a diagonal. Okay, I'll display more along while I'm using this, these colors later on. And under the box, you just want to right click, go to blending options. Oh, my bad. Right click, blending options. Go to outer glow. Blend mode to normal. The color to black. If you keep it on screen, it should it won't work. You won't you won't see the black kind of mask. Oh, I'm not sure, but you know. And you kind of got the soft edges of the of the square now. Just gonna go to the stroke. Change the stroke color to white change the size to 1 and the position to inside and you kind of start to see there that it's really starting to take some shape and it just looks better than kind of having it like that just by pretty much working on some settings one but one thing you may notice is that the colors of the stroke will kind of follow what's underneath it so if you look at this is my background layer and it kind of goes from greeny turquoise to purple, kind of back to a more turquoisey colour. Now right click, go blending options again, go to stroke, change the fill type from colour to gradient, change the style to shape burst. Now what this will do, this will kind of like overlay on what colours underneath it. So for example if I drag the opacity down there and maybe just crank up the size for about two. You can kind of just see it a little bit better. I'm going to zoom in here, maybe a bit pixelated. But if you look here, the stroke's green. And if you kind of move over here, you see that that bit's purple. Now this kind of overlays on what's underneath it. It's kind of like changing the stroke properties to overlay, if you know what I'm talking about. But it just gives quite a nice effect. I'll change it back to one, just, uh, just so you could see it. But in all fairness, that's about it. That's how to create the stroke kind of effect. Look, it's kind of professional. Go use it for your YouTube template, whatnot. But that's all from me, guys. Until the next time, this has been Connor with Chrome Designs, and I'll see you guys soon.